So it's a little late for Christmas shopping, but I wanted to show you something that I think is really cool and something I picked out because this is going to come in handy big time for me. Today we're taking a look at the Vivor Cordless Variable Speed Rotary Toolkit. Let's check it out. So you may think, what does a rotary tool have to do with prepping? Well, I learned a long time ago that being prepared also means having the right tools to do the right job. It comes down to how much is your time worth. You know, I could sit here with a file and file something down for hours, or I could have a tool that's ready for me to go, take care of an issue, and then move on to my next problem, issue, whatever. So that's one of the reasons why I love powered tools. But being off grid again or being running through a power emergency or outage or whatever, you don't have power available. That AC power just isn't there. So something like this really comes in handy. All right. Also for, for ham radio stuff, I can't tell you how many times I've had to cut a bolt or cut a nut or whatever. And, you know, I'm mounting an antenna, if I'm cutting down some wire, whatever. And I've had to plug in an extension cord and drag. Let me get this over here. This big old rotary tool out there to cut something off. So with this, it makes it a whole lot easier. It's, it's very powerful. Um, I've been playing with it a little bit, and it's surprisingly powerful. This comes with a bunch of accessories. Um, it does have a universal chuck, which means it accepts the shanks of uh, 1 64th, 1 32nd, 1 16, 3 32nds, and 1 8th of an inch. Had to write that one down, folks. Sorry. <laughs> so anything that you have for your Dremel will fit in there as well. Um, I'm using, going to be using this polishing, uh, this is a, actually some soft polishing stuff. We're going to be using this polishing felt in a little bit, but this fits in there perfectly. Very, very handy to use with just a click of a button. You can speed up and down your speed here, up and down. That's your on button right there. And I have it on a low speed right now. Okay, that's your speed indicator. Uh, I did charge it up fully, and this does have enough power to cut through metal. I was kind of surprised because I didn't think it would. You know, I thought... I guess I'm thinking old battery technology um, that don't have that doesn't have enough power to cut through things. But this thing has a speed range of 5,000 to 25,000 RPM. That's pretty darn good. Now I am aware that um, some other companies, a little more famous named, have wireless tools. Okay, um, this is just for ease of use. I saw it on Devor. I wanted to give it a try, and the price is so good. I mean, 31 bucks, 31.99. And I have a 5% discount coupon as well. So if you want to use my coupon, it gets even cheaper. So it's definitely pretty cool. Now, this will come with um, three milling cutters, uh, three high-quality diamond grinding needles, okay? Six aluminum oxide grinding stones, a uh, silicon oxide grinding stone, and that's all in here. We'll show you this in a minute. Uh, you got uh, two diamond saw blades, 20 small saw blades. Those are those little metal round things. Uh, two stainless steel cutting blades, one cutting connecting rod, a large felt wheel, two of them actually, two small felt wheels, abrasive paste, which we're going to be using later, and three drill bits and a woodworking drill as well. So this thing is pretty well packed with tools and it is universal. So anything else you have for your other rotary tools will fit in there. But as you can see, we've got cutters there. I just dropped a disc. These are your cutoff wheels, kind of similar to what Dremel uses. These are your uh, diamond cutters, you know, the felt wheels, the whole nine yards in here. And uh, we're going to actually use one of their, I actually prepped this up. Um, I haven't used it yet. We're going to use one of their cutting tools to test it as well. And one of their polishing or sanding wheels. I just want to see how well it works. There is a little saw-like object here. Almost looks like it should be in a mini horror movie. <laughs> and a bunch of sanding discs, stuff like that. So... Another thing that makes this really neat is the fact that it's very ergonomic. It's a little bit smaller than some of the other brand name items. So you can kind of get, I can get my hand in there and do a little detail. I'm going to try to use it as, as an engraver sort of sorts. Um, there's your USB-C charger, by the way. Uh, I'm going to try to engrave something with it. Um, years ago, I used to race slot cars. Um, I actually kind of did it almost on a professional level. I was very young, um, you know, I, I don't know, 15, 16. Had a lot of fun with it, and I used the Dremel tool often, and I was always trying to engrave my name on stuff, like car chassis, uh, heat sinks, motors, whatever, just so, you know, I keep track of what one is. You know, if I said Motor 2 GC, my initials or whatever, you know, I'd, I'd be able to do that. Well, because of the way those Dremels are shaped, 
it's kind of like holding this like a pen really thick up top here this thing has that nice little indent there where i can almost get down and write with it like a pen so i'm going to try doing that too on a piece of metal we're going to try to cut a piece of metal i have just a piece of uh, junk metal from an old antenna mount that i no longer have we're going to try cutting through that as you can see it's fairly decent so we're going to give this a try and see how we like it um the first thing we're going to do is uh do a little uh cutting and polishing i have an old wood ring that i made here basically what you do is you get that that siding for the side of your uh, cabinets that wood siding wrap it around cut it down now of course this is all uneven i never finished it so i'm going to try and finish this up a little bit of course we're not going to do the whole thing today and uh we're going to see how that works we're going to use the sanding wheel first to see how it works and sand it down even and then we'll uh, take it from there so let's give this thing a try now in order to put your stuff in here you're going to push down on this to lock this piece in place and that's just the outside collet there Okay, you're going to stick that in there, and that fits in there perfectly, and then just tighten it down. Now, there is a wrench if you want to get it tighter than that. I'm not too worried. That seems pretty tight in there. There's a nice light in the front here, too. So let's see how this does here. We're going to just take it and do a little, a little detail work here and make a mess out of everything. It's one of the reasons I used to keep a towel underneath when I did that because then people freaked out because it's like oh what if the tool gets caught in the towel and rips your arm off and there's always safety sallies out there that freak out over everything there we go so you see it's actually doing quite a nice job we're getting it even and flush there so i'm going to work a little bit on this and then we're going to bring you back for the buffing wheel and see that felt tip see how well that works as a buffer and we'll try it out from there so give me a minute and i'll bring you guys back all right so as you can see we got a nice uniform shape to that now we're going to try a polishing wheel and i have the old polishing wheel because i like using these kind of shapes um i don't want to use a big round one uh, another thing i did with that wheel there is i went inside here and smoothed that all out so let's try this out okay and as you see i just hold that and pull it out that's one from my dremel tool so i know that fits because everything is kind of universal fit on this thing see how it, oh yeah nice and smooth all right so i'm just going to kind of smoothly go over this and polish it up a little bit there is some uh wood metal polish on this already so it's probably going to leave a a few marks there we're going to sand it down smooth later but as you can see i want smooth edges on it i don't want any rough edges on this thing and it seems to be doing its job very very well so there we go let me give it a little bit more time on this and i'll bring you back when we're done and kind of polish it up here a little bit and we'll see what this thing looks like once it's all finished up. So about 15 minutes of work. And there you go. Now I just realized I was going to, you know what? While I'm doing this, I'm going to throw some stain on it. And I realized I don't have any wood stain. <laughs> Not something I prep up for. So um, I am going to buy some and finish the ring off. I've had this ring out here probably for about seven years or so. And I never finished it because I did a bunch and I got tired of doing them, and it was right about the time my YouTube channel took off, and I never really finished it. So today, I finished it. Nice and smooth on the outside. Did a really good job on it. Now that we've used it so much, as you can see, we're going to try and use this to engrave a piece of metal here. I'm going to just put this flat here. And I'm going to try to write an initial on there or something and see how it works. Now, I don't know that this is the right tool for it, but we're going to give it a shot and see. It's just amazing how comfortable that is in your hand. It's like holding a big pencil. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that. This isn't the right tool for it, but let's see if I can find something a little better. But definitely a whole lot. There we go. There's that little ball. I found these work well from experience. <laughs> a little bit bigger. There we go. Had a little trouble getting it in there. All right, I'll turn it up. And let's see. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it. Let's try over here. Hi. <laughs> it does work very well, and it's actually really comfortable. G-E-O. So, yeah, that's cool. Um, having something like this, it doesn't have to be perfect, as you can tell. It's not, you know, perfect handwriting. 
But that is a good way to engrave your stuff if you're going to be around other people. Maybe sharing stuff at a campsite, whatever. It's a good way to engrave your stuff. Um, especially if, like with ham radio and pieces and antennas and connectors and all that, everybody's got the exact same looking thing. Well, now you can engrave it. So, we're going to try one last thing here. I'm going to try it on wood. And then we're going to try cutting. And see how well that works. Let's see. I don't know if you can see that, but yep. Yeah, definitely works, and it's a whole lot easier to hold like this. So now we're going to try the last thing here. I'm just going to try to make some cuts in here with the rotary tool. See how well that works. Okay. Because, again, this is not really, you know, it's not uh, as powerful as, say, a Dremel tool or something. But it's moving, so let's give it a shot here. Yep. It's definitely cutting, as you can tell there. Hmm. It never looks as good on the camera as it does to me. But it's definitely cutting through. You can see where I've actually cut a notch in there. Now, it isn't as fast as, say, um, let's see, we have one more. There we go. We're all the way up. It isn't as fast as, say, you know, a plug-in plug Dremel tool or something. But it's definitely doing the job. And the fact that it's portable is what's awesome about it. You know? i put my hand behind it so you can see. See? So, the fact that it's portable is really, really cool. And the price on it, I mean, $31.99, plus you're saving 5% 5, 5 off my uh, coupon. You really can't beat it. And the quick change out is so easy. I mean, I did that without even thinking. Because I was talking to you guys. But just tighten it down by hand. If you're really nervous about it, they do have a wrench in there. You can tighten it. It does have flat edges on it. But when you're done, you just let it find the hole inside the shaft. That didn't sound right, did it? <laughs> and there you go. You're all done. So I really like it. I think it's going to get a lot of use for me personally. Um, I like the fact that I'm able to uh, do stuff with this without being connected to a cord. And to charge it up is fairly simple. I mean, I used another cord, but you can use any USB-C cord. And just plug it in there and let it charge up, which I'll do once the video's over. And this will be a new tool in my arsenal for doing, getting stuff done. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've needed a uh, portable cutting device. And I've had to, like I said, run the extension cord outside, get the rotary tool, plug it in, then start work. And something like this can do a whole lot of stuff without even having to worry about it. So, finished up a ring. Definitely like the tool. Now, the weight on this is 0 0.67 pounds or 305 grams. So it's not even a pound. The main body size, 8 inches by 8, uh, 8 by 1.85 uh, by 1.6. So it's not a large device at all. You know, as you see, it's about the size of my hand there. Not a huge device. So it's something you could toss in your pocket, even toss in your vehicle emergency kit if you need to do any kind of cutting. I don't know what you'd be probably doing on the side of the road, but you never know. Uh, and I do like the fact that it's got that light. That is really, really cool. So you can see what you're doing. That made trimming this up so much easier because I could see, especially with older eyes. I know not everybody that watches my channel is 50 or over, but I know I am and my eyes aren't the same as where they were when I was 20. So definitely having the light there is handy. It was able to cut, was able to do a little engraving on metal. Can you see that? Yep. And a little engraving on wood. Now, if I wanted to get fancy with that, I'd take some stain and rub it in there, and I'd have my name engraved on it. So that's kind of cool, too. So that is the Vivo Rotary Tool. It's a variable speed, wireless, cordless rotary tool. $31.99. Again, don't forget my coupon. The link will be down below. Um, I'm definitely going to see this getting a workout in the channel and just in my own personal use because I love having stuff that I don't have to plug in that's mobile. You know, I can take it outside. I can cut something off. If i got a screw that's too long, I can use a cutoff wheel. Love that. So, there you go. Link will be down below. Don't forget to check out all our other links down below as well. We have our Amazon affiliate store. Now, remember, if there's nothing in that store that you think you're going to want, mostly it's just stuff I use in the channel or stuff that I review from Amazon. But if there isn't, you can bookmark that link and you can shop from that link as you normally would on Amazon. Every time you do, you just click that link. You go there and you shop. And it really helps out the channel, bring you cool gear. I like to reinvest everything back into the channel. So, you know, when I buy stuff, that's the way I like to do it to review for you guys and uh, don't forget too we have our freeze dry wholesalers link okay that link will save you 15 percent. there's no codes there's no none of that you click that link you go to the website shop as you normally would when you're done and that reminds me i gotta make my order too when you're done okay you will be able to 
see the little discount on top there. It'll say Iridium 242 discount, 15%. So you don't need any codes or anything. Below that is our My Patriot Supply link. Folks, if you have not checked out My Patriot Supply, uh, my link is preparewithiridium.com. Um, you can go to the site. We have an awesome deal, like 30% off on a, a, a three-month kit of food. Um, it's a really good deal, under 600 bucks. And then we have the one-week kit, the two-week kits, the two-day two kits. There's so many kits on that site. But if you click on the My Patriot Supply logo on the top there, okay, when you get to my site and it loads with that horrible picture of me on it, you click that logo up top and it will take you into there and there's tons more stuff. So it's not just what's on there that's on sale. You can click on that link and go check out the rest of it too. And our Thrive Life freeze-dried food store. So don't forget to check us out on those links as well as the link down below for this. Stay safe and stay prepared.